14th of March 2022, live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reed and Richard May. News, 21 Ukrainian children suffering from cancer have arrived in the UK to receive life-saving care. The children and their immediate family landed last night from Poland. After being assessed, they'll be sent to NHS hospitals across England to continue their treatment. Meanwhile, from today, as we've been saying in this first hour of the show, British families can register to house Ukrainian refugees, even if they have no ties to the UK. The Homes for Ukraine programme's website will be going live uh, quite shortly. Uh, meanwhile, our correspondent, Lorna Shaddock, is in a village in Warwickshire, uh, where you're telling us, Lorna, that you're meeting a lot of people who are very keen to take in Ukrainian refugees. Yeah, that's right, Richard, and uh, it is a very quiet riverside village, as you can see here. It feels an awful long way uh, from the bombs and bullets uh, in Eastern Europe. But uh, people here are already familiar with the idea of a community getting together to support refugees, because uh, they came together around a year or so ago and brought a family of Syrian refugees over through the government's community support scheme. And they had to raise the money to do that themselves. Uh, that charity here in the village will be getting together later in the week uh, to discuss potentially doing the same for Ukrainian refugees as well. And as you say, the website for that will be going live later today. The idea is that people will be able to nominate an individual or a family that they want to bring over. Both sides would be vetted and uh, then matched up together. And as you say, there would be £350 a month for families uh, doing that. So people wouldn't necessarily have to raise the money themselves. And it comes, as you say, as uh, 21 children have been brought over on a special flight from Poland, uh, all of them suffering from uh, life-threatening cancer uh, diagnoses. And the idea is that they will now be assessed by NHS staff and sent to NHS hospitals around the country for free treatment. And that was done in collaboration with an American non-profit as well. So it feels like the gates are starting to open now for uh, people in need from Ukraine. And the hope is that uh, more people now will be able to come over and join those children in, in towns and villages like this one all across the country. People in this quiet Warwickshire village have already opened the door to refugees. As a community, they set up a charity to support and house a Syrian family who arrived a year ago. Giving lifts, helping the jobs at the house, uh, taking the children to school, whatever it is. Now, Bidford could become home for Ukrainian refugees as well. The charity's meeting to ponder the new government scheme later this week. It's personal for their chairman, who has Ukrainian relatives hoping to join him in England. We're delighted that, that you can specify, or it seems we can specify the people we, we wish to invite, to give, give some hope, I guess, to people who've been through to Helen that year, uh, and give them a chance, I guess. Hassan Mahmoud was given just that chance, resettled by the local authority in nearby Stratford-on-Avon, after fleeing Russian bombs in war-torn Aleppo. Now working at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre, Hassan says community sponsorship is the ideal way to help refugees become a real part of the community. People here have helped me, honestly, you know. Uh, I feel it's like I am in my home, you know. So I think it's good, you know, just to, to, to make them feel like they are like they are in their homes. Amid dark times, many hope this could be a way to bring some much needed light. Lorna Shaddock, Good Morning Britain. Lorna, thank you. Concern, however, this morning that people from Ukraine are still being asked to apply for visas uh, when they need to be guaranteed protection as quickly as possible. Well, Jonathan Swain is uh, still at that UK visa.